Hi everyone, I'm Wafa Langa and welcome you all in Grammar in Detail. If you are new and not subscribe the channel, so subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get some more videos about grammar. Today we have got the last topic about grammar that is no, uh, about noun that is known as gender of nouns. Let's begin. The topic which we are going to discuss that is the noun gender. Let's start it with its definition. The word gender has been derived from a Latin word. You know, it is the word derive, not drive. Drive means suppose I drive a car, but you know, over there you, you should have one thing in your mind that is known as uh, derive, not drive. The word uh, noun, uh, the word gender has been derived. Derived means taken from. So the word noun, uh, the word gender has been derived from a Latin word genus which means kind or sort which means of a kind or of a sort it means the word which deals with either the case of male or female which deals with both cases you know of male or female that is known as the gender now kinds of the noun gender there are you know four kinds of noun gender the first one is known as masculine gender the second is known as feminine gender the third is known as neuter gender and the last is known as common gender. Let's begin the first one that is known as masculine gender. What is masculine gender? A noun that denotes a male animal. Any noun that which denotes a male animal. That is known as the noun gender. You know for that um, we might have the symbol which is used like this. And for the feminine we have got this one. So now uh, that denotes a male gender is known as masculine gender what are the examples examples for that is man boy king horse dog cook father nephew and after that bull etc so those nouns which gender which denote a male gender are known as the masculine genders now next one we have got feminine gender what is the definition a noun that denotes a female animal any noun that denotes this one the fem female animal that is known as the feminine gender now what are the examples woman girl queen mayor and bitch and mother etc so those nouns which denote a feminine gender are known as the uh, the a female animal are known as the feminine gender so next one we have got the third one the third one is neuter gender the definition a noun that denotes a thing that is neither a male or a female neither a male nor a female uh, that is known as without you know uh, life is called neuter gender now any noun that denotes uh, neither a male nor a female that is without any gender that is known as neuter gender what are the examples you know book pen room chair table car etc fourth one we have got that is known as common gender what are the common genders the definition is a noun that denotes either a male or a female is called common gender you know which denotes male and female both is called a common gender like you know parent which is you know used for the both male and female uh, that is known as parent child friend pupil student servant thief uh, in the same way we have got the next one uh, relation enemy cousin person baby infant that is known as a noun which denotes neither a male nor a female gender it is known as the common gender so hope you got this one and you know infant is one a baby which drinks milk you know that is even only uh, drinks milk even no any other food that is known as infant so these all are known that can be a male as well as female is known as common gender ways of forming the feminine nouns you know how you are going to form them the masculine uh, how you are going to make the feminine from them there are three ways of forming the feminine nouns, you know, we will be discussing them. The main are three, but we will be having some etc about that. We will discuss them all.
the first one by using an entirely different words you know you will use uh, a different word to make them like you know bachelor spinster horse mayor uncle aunt king queen gender geese boy girl man woman son daughter cock and gentleman lady in the same way brother sister father mother monk nun drake duck nephew nice husband wife dog bitch buck dog earl countess and uncle aunt so these are the nouns you know you will make their feminine in a very different way that is known as the uh, first rule which we have now discussed you know what is the there are some of the difficult words which i'll be telling you people you know gender is the uh, masculine of geese you know it is like a duck animal uh, a bird like a duck and the same way we have got the monk uh, the next word that is known as monk monk up uh, you know a, a christian who all the times worships and remembers his god that is known as monk female for that is known as nun after that we have got drake drake is the male of the uh, duck and in the same way we have got earl that is known as you know a sort of uh, you know person who is wealthy mostly it is used in a, uh, united kingdom earl and for female for that is known as countess and oh you got these words now we will discuss the second rule that is known as by adding a syllable e double s or i n e and t r i x to the masculine gender this is the second way to make them like author authoress manager manageress baron baroness host hostess shepherd shepherdess count countess and ir iris poet poetess loin loiness giant giantess steward stewardess mayor mayoress so this is the you know second way to form them uh, form their feminine and the third one we have got in the following e double s uh, e double s is added in the following e double s is added after dropping the vowel of masculine ending you know now what are the examples actor you will remove the vowel of it and then after that you will put e double s actress emperor emperor empress in enchanter enchantress master mis, mistress and be, uh, benefactor benefactress prince princess duke duchess and score scorer and that is known as scoreress hunter huntress waiter waitress tiger tigress tigress and instructor instructress murderer murderess uh, waiter waitress so this is the third way to form their feminine the next one we will be discussing uh, you know number 4 the suffix e double s is the uh, commonest suffix to form the feminine nouns from the masculine and it is only on which we now use the forming a new feminine noun you know by this you'll be forming them like we have got you know i n e and e s e e double s is the most common but you could have it in another way like i n e or i n a or t r i x tricks hero heroine signer signora and testator test test testatrix fox witson sir serena sultan sultana and the fifth one by you know placing a word before or after we can form the feminine of a masculine now what are the example grandfather grandmother milkman milkwoman 
लैंड लॉर्ड लेडी ओके लैंड लेडी एंड ग्रैंड ग्रैंड अंकल ग्रैंड आंट पी कॉक पी एन वॉशर मैन वॉशर वुमेन मैन सर्वेंट मेड सर्वेंट सेल्स मैन सेल्स वुमेन एंड पी कॉक पी एन सो दिस इज दिफ्थ वे टू मेक द प्लूरल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आफ्टर दैट यू नो आई हैव लिस्टेड सम ऑफ द मेस्कुलाइन एंड फेमिनाइन for your vocabulary you could learn them and get their masculine and feminine in the same way we have got author authoress boy scout girl scout grandfather grandmother hero heroine stake end and cock and mare mayoress bull calf cow calf cock sparrow and sparrow baron baroness wizard witch master mistress son daughter widower widow and traitor traitress traitress bachelor spinster duke duchess and grandson granddaughter host hostess hunter huntress father mother manager manageress master mistress tempter temptress poet poetress and duke duchess monk nun steward stewardess wise 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 count wise countess negro negress and bridegroom bride emperor empress headmaster headmistress instructor instructress policeman police woman sultan sultana tiger tigress loin loiness he got she got about abbess male female nephew nice uncle aunt sir serena e mule she mule butler maid gentleman lady ir iris king queen boy girl conductor conductress count countess priced priestess batsman batswoman you know this are written in blue uh, even for the female they use nowadays best she is a good batsman but let me clear for you if he is a batsman so she will be a batswoman so in cricket when anyone plays that for that you will say batswoman after that sir madam you may not find this word in dictionary but i'll Uh, have it for your extra information and knowledge manager manageress postman postwoman waiter waitress jew jewess and ors mayor some more we have got uh you know brother in law sister in law mater maternal uncle maternal aunt father in law mother in law cot philly step father step mother peer peeress brown b paternal uncle paternal aunt brother in law mother in law sister in law english man english woman step brother step sister signor signora daddy mummy tutor governess and son in law daughter in law dad mum step son step daughter songster songstress stallion mare drake duck bull bullock i i okay i for and salesman saleswoman patron patro, patroness sultan sultana so these were uh, some of the masculine and feminine which i wrote and for you people some i think 100 or less than a bit but for your knowledge and information one note is there very important you know there are some nouns uh, which are used both masculine and feminine i told you know they are known as the common genders what can be the further examples for that companion child which are used for the male and female both for masculine and feminine both and cattle cat bird baby teacher swan student singer sheep relative pupil president pig passenger parent owner infant guest 
गार्डियन फ्रेंड डियर डेंसर कजन कॉमरेड एक्सेट्रा सो दीज आर द नाउंस विच आर यूज फॉर द मेस्कुलाइन एंड फेमिनाइन बोथ ऑफ यू गॉट दीज ऑल यू नो देर इज अ लिटल बिट रिलेटेड टॉपिक फॉर दैट इज नॉन एज यू नो personification now what is personification we will discuss the definition the attribution of a human nature or character to animals or inanimate objects is called personification personification is what you know when you uh, give the character to the animals or inanimate objects like things are there you give them the name of as like uh, you know animate which can grow breathe and move and some of them you count in masculine and then some of them you count it, count in feminine so for that we will be discussing the personification it is one of the figures of speech we will not discuss it here but we will be discussing it in figures of speech here it is little bit related with your uh, that you know uh, gender uh, with the topic gender of noun that's why i'm teaching you with masculine gender how you are going to use them and with feminine gender how you are going to use them they are used in two categories the common gen uh, the genders which are used as like they are animals or inanimate you will be using them like male or female so the first one with masculine gender the object remarkable for strength or and violence are often applied to the masculine gender you know anything which has got the strength violence is applied to the masculine gender what are the example like i said the sun the summer the winter death they all belong to masculine gender one of the examples i can give you here the sun as separated is layers to the earth now see the sun as separated is layer now for a sun we have used as like masculine gender and for that we are using is layers now over there we have made sun a living thing and in living we have given it it a masculine gender in the same way we have got the winter as is effect to uh, is uh, okay as is effects to the people of koida city now see the winter as its is effects now is effects means we have given winter a masculine gender the sun a masculine gender clear and in the same way we have got the next one with feminine gender how you are going to use them definition the object remarkable for beauty gentleness and gracefulness you know that is used for maybe for a beauty or maybe gentleness which is less powerful and graceful are often applied to the feminine gender anything which is a strong very hard for that uh, things you you can personify them with a masculine gender and we, which are gentle beauty and for graceful that that you will be using for feminine gender like i said the moon uh, the earth the spring the autumn the nature the liberty the justice the mercy the peace the hope the charity they all belong to feminine gender like i said the spring as separate are mantle of green over the earth uh, you know gen se separate are now for spring we are using are we have given it a feminine gender and the moon lost her beauty see the moon is used for beauty and for that we you are, we are using the feminine gender her beauty so hope you got today's lecture wish you best of luck see you next time with next lecture goodbye